Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to y'all Akim out there. And this is a sit-down lesson on this uh, March the 20th, uh, 2022. On this uh, Sunday morning at 12.03 uh, a.m. On this uh, Sunday morning. And uh, the title of this uh, quick sit-down lesson is going to be There Shall Be Seen uh, Upworlds of the People. And this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Therefore, one there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world. Right, because we're seeing upwards of the people in the world. Because I just seen um, protests over there in Calgary, Canada. It was a counter protest on both sides, you know. And then you have the uh, protesters around the world. Uh, you know they are they are against the uh, war that's going on in over there in Russia. You know, Russia Ukraine that situation. And then you have the upwards of the people. You know, uh, going against of them that don't want no war. You know, they're protesting against the uh, war of what Russia is doing to the Ukrainians over there. You know with that current situation and then you had about not so long ago about a couple of weeks ago you have the uh the truckers with the protests in the united states as well too first it started from canada and then it led it, it led its way all the way into uh the united states as well too and then you had protesters around the world you know uh paris france even though they still got that yellow vest protests going on as well too, and many other different protests and uproars of the people around the world, you know you're starting to see that increase once again. Even though it had calmed down a little bit for a couple of weeks, but expect to see a uh, increase of these uh, uproars of the people in the world. You know you're gonna continue to see that. You know. You're going to continue to see uh, these people going against their uh, government officials. They should not regard their kings nor their princes in the courses of their action. As a matter of fact, since I brought that up, I'm going to bring out that scripture as well, too. And this is going to be the last scripture to close it out on this, uh, on this uh, Sunday morning. You know, this quick sit down lesson. Not regard their kings, nor princes, which is the political leaders. Yep, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse sixteen, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And for there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another. And they should not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions. Shall stand in their power right. You're going to have clashes between protesters and the officials of the workers that work for the, uh, work for the higher ups. And you're going to have, uh, you know, a lot of citizens in those countries <coughs> uh, opposing the uh, the rules that have been signed into law from these uh, political leaders and figures, you know. You know, they're going to uh, oppose it and they're going to protest against them, you know. Just like you had these uh, anti-coups been going on, these freedom conveys. You're going to start to see that increase again in the last days, you know, because these are the times that we are living in, you know. You're going to have uh, protests of these uh, high gas prices. You know, you're going to have protests of uh, 
why is the food shortages potentially and the hyperinflation you know you're gonna have protesters of many more different things as well too you know uh, it's gonna be a lot of people which we so accustomed and so used to used to any way for a long period of time we're gonna see uh people uh fighting for their uh fighting for justice for the injustices that's gonna continue to increase you know uh people fighting for imp- uh higher pay raise even though they've been doing that they gonna see more of that so you're gonna see many different things of uh categories of the uh, up worlds of the people now at the moment you know people are uh up 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 roaring of these uh they uh fully oppose and against uh, what the uh russians doing to the ukrainians over there what they doing to one another so you know uh people are like uh anti-war so they're not uh they're not uh, agreeing with the uh idea of the continual uh situation over there in ukraine of the wars that's going on over there and you're gonna see many different things in different categories like i mentioned of uh continuing of uh of wars of the people and the sedition among men you're gonna see that as well too invading one another and they should not regard their kings nor their princes that's those political leaders that put po- uh their political leaders and figures and these politicians and these uh in a political form you know so you're going to see these things to increase of the uproars of the people continuously in the last days so with that you know that's all i want to bring out on this uh sunday morning this little quick sit down lesson on this uh, march the 20th 2022 and i hope this quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of yahweh yahweh and uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christian's Word, uh, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's Word, uh, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.